Scotland's environmental regulator has said it's seeking a prosecution following six days of unplanned flaring at the Mossmore and Petrochemical Works in Fife last April. CEPA says it's now completed its year-long investigation and has informed ExxonMobil of its intentions. Our environment correspondent Kevin Keane joins us now. Kevin, what are CEPA saying? Well, what they're saying, Laura, is that this afternoon they informed ExxonMobil that their investigation into this event had been completed and that they are now about to submit a report to the Crown Office for consideration. Now, unlike in England, the environmental regulator here can't bring a prosecution itself, so it's up to the Crown Office to decide whether to progress this even further. But this will be welcome news to campaigners in Fife and also to the more than 900 people who complained to the regulator about its concerns when this flaring happened. It lasted for six days and many people complained that they couldn't sleep during that time because of the noise pollution, light pollution and the vibration that was caused from the flare. And of course this wasn't the first time there had been a flaring incident. No, absolutely not. And in fact, just weeks before this happened, the SEPA had completed its investigation into an even bigger event that happened in April 2018. That event lasted for seven days and SEPA's investigation found that the flaring had been avoidable and unacceptable. And they issued a final warning notice to them, to ExxonMobil and to Shell as well, who share that site with them, saying that this mustn't happen again. And then, of course, we get this event. Um, over the course of last year, that site was shut down by ExxonMobil. They say that they're going to invest £140 million on upgrading it. But tonight they're saying they're insisting that they do adhere to local regulations and to laws wherever in the world they operate.